Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. And this is a bit of a serious one. Um, when I first saw this story, my first reaction was kind of nervous laugh, thinking, oh my word, we are truly through the looking glass. Then I realised the seriousness of it. Then I realised the absolute creepiness of it. And then I realised how terrible it actually is becoming. Now, I'm going to ask a question. It's not the question I want the answer to. I'm just going to ask a question. What is a woman? Now, this is the question that absolutely paralyzes MPs of all hues and colors. Doesn't matter what party they're in, you see them panic behind the eyes. And they have, they struggle, they absolutely struggle to come up with a definition that won't upset the tiny, tiny minority of mentally ill people. But it's quite simple. Uh, you know, adult, human, female, not a problem. So now we're going to ask another question. And that question is, what is a lesbian? Now, having not spent any part of my life as a lesbian, I couldn't possibly say I've not had that lived experience. I just don't know. I have a definition in my mind, which I will say, um, and I think it is a fair definition. And if any, uh, if any lesbian who happens to be watching this, uh, this video um, either agrees, then say you agree, or if you disagree, you know, do say that you disagree with my definition and, and, and put down a better definition in the comments. I mean, seriously, this isn't... Um, you know, where, you'll see when you get to the body of this video that I'm absolutely being serious about this, right? Now, my definition of a lesbian is a woman who is physically, sexually or emotionally attracted to other women exclusively. And I think that kind of touches all bases, doesn't it? Um, and I, that, I think that's a fair definition. Um, I, it's, you know, like I say, I, I'm looking at it literally from the outside. Uh, I, can poss I couldn't possibly ever know. But it seems to me that that would be a fair definition. Like I say, if you have a better one, do please let me know. Now, the reason uh, I'm mentioning this is because of a new definition it's come through from a university in the States, of course. It's the ultra wokes. Um, and why I, I, why I find it troubling, and I think you will too, is that they're actually getting to the point now where they cannot even say the word woman. It is so difficult for them. They cannot accept that women even exist, that they no longer can even stomach saying the word woman woman and they're looking to cancel woman as a word and women in general as a thing as a group as a cohort change the word woman to the word jewish or the word black and see how that sounds we want to eradicate women and now just change it like i say to the word jewish or black because that's what these people are they are no different they are absolutely no different from any other group of hate-filled individuals. Now I'm going to switch over and we're going to come down and have a look at this, but it is absolutely jaw-dropping uh, and it needs to be resisted at every stage. And thankfully, of course, there is one person already on the case. JK Rowling. Let's go. So this, this definition is absolutely stunning. Uh, and J.K. Rowling is hitting out at the U.S. University after it declared that a lesbian is a non-man who is attracted to a non-man. I think the word they're looking for is woman. Uh, the guide in this university states that lesbians should include both women and non-binary people. But well, how can you have both and? And that's two. That's binary, isn't it? Stupid things. Uh, it therefore refers to lesbians as a non-man attracted to non-men. So they're not even letting you be a woman anymore. They are cancelling women. It is absolute hate speech. If you are a man who likes to dress as a woman and is attracted to women, let me, let me tell you what you are. You're a straight man with a fetish, but you're still a straight man. There you go. It's easy to define. Anyway, J.K. Rowling has blasted a university in America for saying a lesbian 
is a non-man attracted to non-men. Please tell me what a non-man is. I'd like to see his DNA. Or her DNA. But that's the only way of telling, isn't it? I mean, seriously? Anyway, the Harry Potter writer of 57 slated the US medical school. Now, anyone coming through that university needs to be told in no uncertain terms they can never be a doctor, ever. Because if they're doing this, they're too damn stupid. If they don't know the difference between men and women from a biological, medical point of view, why the hell are they doing in med school? Anyway, uh, she's slating this school for its new definition in its um, alphabet guide. The guide states that lesbians should not just include women, even though lesbian means exclusively women. If you're not a woman... You cannot and never could wed be and never will be anything other than a man. You are, you can only be a woman. I mean, you can only be a lesbian if you're a woman at the end of the day. Anyway, it therefore refers to lesbians as non-man attracted to non-men. That's like defining, defining um, Jews as non-Christians. Everyone who's not a Christian is a non-Christian. And therefore, you're either Christian or you're non-Christian. And then what you're doing there is you're lessening everyone you're you're building an ivory tower for christians only and everyone who's not a christian is lesser is something is the else is the other do you see the problem here it is hate speech it is absolute hate speech let's have white people and then those who aren't white you see that's what they're saying this is exactly what these people are doing they think they're being virtuous they think they're being inclusive what they're doing is dividing massively dividing they are treating individuals with contempt and with hate and they don't even see it because they're so wrapped up in their own left wing woke wankery they fail to see what complete twat tops they really are they are absolute bubbles of hate filled stain aren't they they are an absolute stain on humanity anyway Ms. Rowling took to Twitter to criticise John Hopkins University in Baltimore, one of the best medical schools in the world, uh, writing, man, no definition needed, non-man, formerly known as woman, a being definable only by the reference to not being male. I mean, these people, and this, like I say, this is a medical school, this is one of the world's best medical schools. These people go through this school and they've got to come out the other end and they've got to work on human bodies, which are completely binary. There is no third sex. You are male or you're female. In one in a million cases, you may have both genders, you know, both genitals, I mean, or the traces of one, but predominantly the other or vice versa. But you're still male or female. You're not a third sex. There is no third sex. Uh, anyway, she added an absence. She added, uh, yeah, an absence, a vacuum where there is no manness. That's what being a non-man is. The author's tweet comes after the charity Oxfam were told to apologise and delete a section of their Pride Month advert after it brought out a video apparently portraying Miss Rowling as a villain with red eyes. But she isn't going around trying to cancel co whole cohorts of people. She isn't trying to make 51% of the world's population meaningless, def you know, without a definition, without an identity. There's men and there's the other things that aren't men. That includes men. That's their argument. It's men who want to be... It's men who don't want to be men and women who aren't men and those that don't want to define, they're all non-men. Everyone in together. So being man, being the man, is the best. We are men. We get a name. We get a definition. We exist. If you're not a man, you don't exist. That's what these people are saying. And they are going into medicine. Dr. Mengele, he went into medicine. And that's exactly the same thoughts he had. So you need to make sure that if in America, especially American viewers, if you're going to uh, if you're going to the doctors, just check, just look at the plaque on the wall, and make sure it doesn't say Johns Hopkins, because that is exactly the sort of thing they're doing. The Dr. Mengele School of Human Medicine. You wonder what experimentation they'll be doing on you next. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm rounding off and coming up, but it is absolutely disgusting. 
sadly even think when they're putting this out that people aren't going to question it, aren't going to go, are you mad? Now, we're living in a world where um, Bud Light has lost nearly $30 billion of its, of, its, of its stock price. Target in the States has going, you know, massively downhill. Uh, everything they're doing, they're, they're, they're taking steps back, they're reversing policies because they've seen that the fight back is there. People are basically fed up to the back teeth with all this woke balls. And they're pushing on with it. They're doubling down because they think that they're onto a winner. They're so not onto a winner. All they're doing is they're being ridiculed. They're being laughed at. They don't even see it. These people are so stupid. They don't even see the contempt with which they're held. Well, good luck to them. Let's just laugh at John Hopkins. And then every woman who ever goes there complains because, and he and insists, but then complains when they don't put the word woman down. Make them say it. Make them define you. Make them change their definition because their definition isn't you. They want, oh, everyone's got their identity. Make sure you present your identity and make them use it. And I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, call yourself what you like, but be who you are. And goodbye.